Good morning, folks. We've got some epic eye candy to see today. We'll also hit pre-seismic signals, solar forcing, and space weather, what we have and what we don't have in terms of the sun. We'll start there with the last 24 hours on our star. First, what we don't have. Neither CME impact that NOAA forecasted is seen in the solar wind. They were forecast to be minor anyway, but alas, the telemetry shows no enhancements in the plasma stream at all. But what we do have is solar flaring. On the heels of the activity forecast we made a few nights ago, the solar flaring is significantly on the rise, and it's spread across multiple active regions, which you see here as flare flashes from the sunspot groups. Sunspot number continues surging, as we've got lots on the Earth-facing side, and even more are coming. Big earthquake struck the West Pacific yesterday. Luckily, this area of the world handles them very well. We get about one of these a week there. This one a 6.5 in northern Oceania. Up next, what is there to say other than wow? The Star Forge cosmological zoom-ins on interstellar medium of Quasar have gone to a completely new level. They have mapping of the stars, the plasma, the magnetic fields, the turbulence. This is the most detailed of such simulations ever performed, but they do have a flaw. They still rely heavily on the inclusion of dark matter in the models. The link to all these animations with explanations is in your source list today best aspect of them is how tightly wrapped the magnetic field lines are in the disk region of the quasar and galaxy. That's the galactic current sheet of the system and as you can see it wraps around far more than the spiral arms do. Happy to see those even infiltrating their animation sequences now. Excellent study up next showing that the massive Jamaica earthquake in 2020 was preceded by atmospheric electricity anomalies for 40 days prior to the shaking. That's one of the more extended identifications of such pre-seismic electromagnetic anomalies. Also have a fantastic paper on solar forcing that includes basically the same region. Once again, we find that the sun and volcanoes are the primary drivers of rainfall events in a region over relatively important medium to long range time scales. Folks, at some point in the next 24 hours, we'll be sending out the next issue of Observer Review, best science updates of the last month and more. But at the end of this month, we'll be sending out a link so all members can get every issue we have put out so far, including this new one coming out in the next 24 hours. It's going to be nearly 400 pages, 185 of the best science articles. And by the way, that is much longer than my textbook. We greatly appreciate your support. Link to sign up is below. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.